Hi friends, we would like to talk to you about living a victorious life. And uh, I want to highlight four elements about living a victorious life as a Christian, as a believer. The scripture that I'll be focusing on is found in 1 John chapter 5 from verse 1. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God. And everyone who loves the Father loves whoever has been born of Him. By this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey His commandments. For this is the love of God, that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not burdensome. For everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Who is it that overcomes the world except the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? Out of this passage, there's four different areas or four different keys in order for us to live victoriously. We cannot, as believers, think that we will be victorious in the Christian life if one of these four elements are not kept. The first element that the Bible speaks about is believing in Jesus. Believing that He is the Son of God is the key. Without that, we will have no victory in this world. Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior of our lives, it is because of what He has done that we can be victorious in this life. Therefore, our faith needs to be directed at what Christ has done for us on the cross. That's how we receive victory. That's how we live in victory when we truly accept and believe what Jesus Christ has done for us. The second element is the love of the Father. Wow, I think this one is, is one of the key things in any Christian, in any believer's life, is the fact that we need to love God. The Bible says we need to love God, the Lord God, our Father, with everything that is within us. It's not something that we can do half-heartedly. Loving God is not an optional extra. It is the foundation of the Christian belief that we have to love God. Believe in Jesus Christ, love God. That's the second element. Then the other element is faith and faith over all. Faith, without faith, the Bible says it is impossible to please God. We have to have faith. We have to have faith that God has sent Jesus Christ. And out of that, we can live victoriously. And then finally, in this one I kept last, it's a little bit lopsided. But this one, I believe, is something that we as believers fail in. We fail in a lot. And that is the aspect of obedience. You see, obeying Christ, obeying God, obeying what He commanded us is our expression towards the love that God has given to us. When we obey Christ, when we obey His commandments, what we do expresses our reciprocativeness of the love that God has given us. I always say this, that there is forced obedience and then there is an obedience out of a response to the love of God. The forced obedience is like when my mom tells me as a kid to wash the dishes. I always do it with a sad face and a long face. You know, the, 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 the complaints that we as, as boys make. Why is it always me? Why is it me? Why is it me? But the key to transitioning from a forced obedience to an obedience that is a response to the love is when we grow in the knowledge of God. Like me, now that I'm a grown-up, when my mom now asks me to wash the dishes, I do that as a response to the love that she has given me. I do that as a response for that which she has given me. When I was a kid and didn't understand this concept, I was murmuring and complaining. And I did what was asked of me out of that anger, out of that, why me? But now that I'm grown up and I understand the amount of love and care that my mom has poured into my life, now when she asks me to do something, I immediately respond because I love her. And that's my expression of the receiving of that love. And I want to close off with this. If we as believers say that we love God and do not keep His commandment, then I question the motive behind what we say. I question the level of our love. In fact, I question the maturity level of our love. When we do the commandments or fulfill the commandments of God or the requests of God out of a murmuring and complaining attitude, then I question the level of our maturity in Christ Jesus. With that, I bless you.